everyone welcome to our channel so today's vlog will be about a road trip to county meath it is the mid east region of ireland and it's just 46 kilometers far from dublin but kyunki hum cavan se ja rahe hain it will be a round trip of nearly 200 kilometers so cavan town se our first destination will be the battle of boyne the red dot which you are seeing it's the place where in the battle happened between the two kings to regain the british crown in 16th century from there we'll be going to druveda right in the middle of the town center where is this beautiful church which is called st peter's church and the head of st oliver's plunket is kept in the church and we'll tell you the whole story about it so let's start the journey with the battle of boyne We'll be starting with the visitor center, which is marked as one, two, and three are the cafeterias, and the fourth one is the walkway gardens. So we'll be showing you a nice view of the gardens. If you want to see the museum, then there's an online pre-booking which you need to do. there is the visitor center and the museum which i was talking about is inside it from number 1 which was the visitor center we are going to number 2 and 3 where in the cafeterias are and as you can see there's a huge line so we are just skipping this section and directly moving to number 4 to the world gardens the garden is so beautiful that it actually made me feel like as if i'm walking in the victorian era let me just show you the complete view of it Almost everything is closed due to covid these days
This building is a famous tourist attraction and made in 1793 using local limestone. complete the story of this church let me share a true story of a saint called saint oliver's plunket when he was just 18 years old he went to rome to become a priest कुछ साल बाद he thought he wanted to do something for his country, so he came back to Ireland at the age of 41 as a bishop to rebuild a broken church. उसके बाद उन्होंने अपना खुद का स्कूल स्टार्ट किया which became the first integrated school where both Protestant and Catholic students are taught together. which the english government didn't like and later after the trial the english gave orders to execute him most of his body parts are located in england but some of the remains along with his head is kept in this church at first His head was brought to Rome but eventually it has rested here in this church. watching the video if you like the video please share comment and subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for all the support you you guys are giving to us so thanks again and bye love you